Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Kids That Smoke Weed. Never thought I'd be saying that one, but the video did really good. A lot of people really liked it, I guess. And some of you guys found it really funny. And I had a lot of fun making it, so I thought I would do another one. And um, in this video, I want to talk about something. Um, basically, people were saying that they've never even seen these kids before. Someone was like, oh, I've never had to deal with anyone like that. I'm sorry, dude. And a lot of you guys actually never have to deal with these kids. And I am very, very happy for you guys because I can't seem to fucking avoid them. Whether it's my town, through my friends, online. These motherfuckers are all over the place. And they just sit there and just use all forms of social media to make them like they make themselves look like even bigger douchebags than they already are. So I'm going to tell you, we're going to be talking about the social media guy in this video. So in the last video, I talked about how the kids, you know, they sit there in the fucking in front of you and they pretend to be pros of fucking smoking weed. And then they end up looking like jackasses because they don't know what they're doing. And, um, I mean, there's there's a difference between being a beginner and being a lying tool. And that's what I talked about in the first video. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about the social media, you know, I, I guess we could say social media stoners. And, um, you know, there's people that like to smoke weed online. That's 100% okay. But then there's the people, the kids, that are younger that like to fucking... I'm going to tell you a little story, okay? One of my friends the other day, we were actually trying to get topics for this video to talk about some stuff. And my, my one friend gave me a, a story to tell for you guys. So, I guess when my friend was 15 and the other kid was 13, they were hanging out at a fucking party. I don't know what they were doing. But this kid claimed that he had a bunch of weed and that they wanted to smoke. And, um, yeah, they were already pretty young back then. But what ended up happening was, is this kid, I guess he had like a tiny amount of weed, okay? And he made a homemade bong out of a two liter Sprite bottle. And um, this is, that's not the bad part. He puts the weed in the little foil bowl thing, and he was short, I guess, okay? He didn't have a lot of weed. He didn't have enough to fill it. He fills the other half of it with oregano spice, or whatever the hell it's called. Oregano. It's a fucking seasoning, I'm pretty sure. I don't even know what it is exactly. I've never even seen it. I think it's in my basement on, like, the pantry thing somewhere. But he fills the other half with oregano, like a little spice thing. It looks like weed. And then... He actually legitimately smokes it and films it with his phone. And is like, yo, getting hella fucked up with my friend at a party. Turn up. And then he literally uploads it to Facebook. And I could not stop laughing. My friend told me the story. I was like, dude, you have to let me tell this to my viewers. It's so fucking funny. And I was just like, damn, that is great. And that's how I kind of got the topic for today's video. And uh, yeah, I was going to be talking about the social media people. Um, the people that, you know, the, the young kids that like to fucking grab their fucking bong or their bowl or whatever they have, take one hit for the iPhone camera and then upload it to Snapchat, Twitter, Vine, fucking Facebook, every social media platform, fucking Beam, you know, fucking eBay, you know, I don't even care. Any app ever, they just upload it to all social media platforms to look cool. And, um, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. Um, I actually know one person in particular that does that all the fucking time. He owns an Instagram account, and he legitimately, every single day, probably three times a day, he posts videos of him taking, like, one bong rip, and then he's like, hi as fuck, fam. And then he just ends the video right there. It's really funny because I know this kid in real life, and I know for a fact that he literally takes one hit of the bong, puts it under his bed, and then uploads the video to Instagram and doesn't touch it until the next video that he wants to take for Instagram. So yeah, I want to talk about those people. And once again, guys, I'm not attacking anybody that, you know, posts a video of themselves, you know, smoking or doing anything online. That's, you know, you're, you have 100% the right to do that. I'm talking about the kids a little, like, they will literally grab weed and then only use it to look cool online. Just to, like, you know, freaking show off on the internet. And that's what I was talking about in this video. So, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me and helps me out a shit ton. You guys are the best. I love you all so much. Leave a comment below of what you think of these kids below. I'll see you all later. Peace. All right, so before I start this video, I just want to get a point across real quick. Um, I am not talking about, in this video, the kids that smoke weed because they enjoy it or because they enjoy the effects of it. That is 100% okay. Um, I am just talking about, in this video, the kids that smoke weed to look cool and I just really wanted to talk about this I thought it was the funniest thing ever because I woke up this morning and I was thinking about my friend I had this friend from a few years back who was the biggest just biggest douchebag because he would literally smoke weed to try and look cool and he did it wrong and he just looked like a complete tool and I'm gonna tell you about him so years ago I met this kid in middle school okay and it was before I ever smoked and I was pretty young and he came over to my house one time 
And he came over and was like, bro, I'm going to bring Mad Weed. We're going to smoke. And I was like, nah, dude, I'm not going to smoke. Like, it's just not the thing that I like to do. Because at the time, I was really young. And he's just like, nah, bro, come on. You'll love it. You'll love it. And he was just trying to peer pressure me. So he comes over and he's like, dude, I bought the dankest shit ever. Like, I'm telling you, man, I, it's, I had to spend $50 on this stuff. It's such a good deal. And I'm like, all right, dude, like, whatever you say. And I'm not, I'm still, you know, I wasn't planning on smoking. I'm just sitting there. 